Allo, 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 testing, testing. All right, we're live. Hi, guys. Bonjour, comment ça va? And welcome to VR Essentials, your go-to place for all your HP Reverb G2 content. So do consider subscribing to this channel and also enable your bell notification so next time you're in YouTube, you will see our video in your video feed so you don't get to miss all those other cool videos in the future. So today, we're talking about this guy, the new cable called the Rev2 for the HP Reverb G2. What is it all about? I feel that other channels who've spoken about this have missed out on some of the information so I thought it'd be good to go you know and talk more about this so let's hop over to the other uh, screen here so on reddit there was an official announcement by HP I do consider also you join this reddit page if you use reddit uh, revision 2 of the reverb G2 cable and all the mysteries within official announcement by the HP staff so let's go directly to the uh, FAQ here who can get a cable if you have an issue with your cable and if you have an AMD based system you can ask for one and one will be sent so guys this basically means that basically now it will be sent free of charge but I would like to add a disclaimer because it is possible that by the time you see this video might be a few weeks or a few months whoever I don't know it could be that it's not free anymore so do check with the customer service that it is free at that time in point but if you do watch this video today or within next week or so although it could change it should be free by right so do check with the uh, customer service over there um, how do I get one call up the support team and they can supply you with one um, if you want extras, they're also sold online now. If you go to the website, by the way, this new cable is six meters long. And if you want to buy one, um, then it will be 89 US dollars. However, price can change depending on your region. And also, uh, do make sure that you also check if it's 89 plus plus, like with tax or delivery, you know, all this kind of stuff. So, you know, just make sure about these kind of things um, so let's continue what is the difference what is the difference between this cable and what is called the rev1 cable which is the original cable this cable has been improved with the magic tech technology that is really a built-in um, and qualified hub in the new link box that cleans up the signal what are these so have these cables been thoroughly tested by AMD systems well Good news, guys. Uh, we expanded our AMD testing for this cable and they work directly with AMD to, confer, to confirm that this new cable is fixed so that there's no connection issues. Okay, guys, so if you're someone who um, has been having issues with this cable and you've had an AMD issue, then they have worked directly with AMD so normally by right you shouldn't have a cable now guys if you have issues with this cable and you receive the Rev2 cable you know what to do leave a comment below of course in the description box below I also add this link for you to go to and all the other links uh, that will help you as well so but do let us know in the comments below if you had any issues with this cable and if you have any issues with the Rev1 cable, please leave a comment below. I'd like to know as well because I don't think everybody has had an issue, to be honest with you. The majority of us haven't. But if you have, leave a comment below. I'd love to know. Uh, okay, let's continue now. What if I have a Rev1 cable that isn't that doesn't have any issues? Can I also get the Rev1, uh, the Rev2 cable? Uh, guys, honestly speaking, you can, but they do recommend you don't call them. I recommend you don't call them if you don't have any issues because of course let's give a priority to all the other guys all right guys let's not create a backlog for other people and you know let, let's let's solve the misery as fast as possible let's not call them if we don't have an issue because it's not going to create better graphics it's not going to improve the latency it's not going to do all that guys the only thing it's going to do is help the connection issues that's it so no need to go and start calling HP guys everybody and oh can I get the ref tool can I get the ref tool no let's let the guys with the issues first get priority all right I let's let's just do that all right uh, next question what if the agent doesn't know anything about the cable well what I call up support and they don't know about it well okay maybe some of them haven't been educated about it who knows but I okay uh, the agent should be looking up advisories when customers call in it seems 
They don't, they don't always do this. Hmm, all right, let's uh, hope that's not the case. In this case, they have to... So if they don't know, guys, uh, if you could just help the agent out. This is so funny so for me to even mention this. All right, but never mind. Uh, tell them to search for the new 6-meter cable, and it should make it the first hit in the search results. And also, I would advise, tell them the cable that has this new uh, technology in it which is called the magic tech technology and then it should come up straight away and guys if you want to uh, purchase this cable there's a link here of course I'll put the link to the reddit inside the description as I mentioned before um, and I just want to mention also very quickly that uh, let me just transition over again there's two types of issues that you may have uh, with your cable right first of all if you're playing and your screen or you turn on your HP Reverb G2 and you don't see a logo switching up here most of the time most of the time guys leave a comment below let me know if you have a different solution but most of the time all you have to do here is basically unplug this T-junction alright because normally you'll see a white light so if it goes black and you don't see an HP Reverb G2 logo on your HP Reverb G2 normally it means that this light here is not on also the white little light there so just unplug it plug it don't un no need to unplug at the main no need to unplug at the main in fact if this is plugged in and you unplug at the main and you plug back the main itself it won't resolve the issue i don't know why i mean for me it never does so for me to resolve the issue is leave the mains plugged in so this 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 thing here leave that plugged in however Unplug this, then plug this back in, the white light will come back on, boom! You will see the light back on your HP Reverb G2 at the front and everything will work absolutely fine. If, however, you have a blue light, a blue light that comes, that, that you see inside of the actual HMD, okay? Different issue. This is more have to do with a graphics intensity issue. It means your computer, your HP Reverb G2 can't render the graphics, it's too high so what you need to do and i've spoken about this in other videos especially for Acida Corsa Competizione uh, Automobilista 2 and a whole bunch of other videos that you can go and check out for the HP Reverb G2 is bring down the super sampling in your Steam VR settings on the per application if it happens in your Steam VR home you need to turn down your Steam VR super sampling in the Steam VR home from 100% bring it down to 50 and then incrementally bring it up or go into your game settings so in the actual game itself if there is a super sampling setting over there most undoubtedly bring it down to not ultra not high bring it down to medium first and then incrementally bring it up and if you have a super sampling setting inside of your game itself crank it down and normally speaking you should have resolved the issue but if you find that you just can't resolve it for any reason whatsoever and it's a cable issue you know what to do go and contact HP they'll send you a cable completely free do check with HP if it's still free by the time you watch this video all right guys let's hop over and say thanks to you because you are the hero of this channel and uh, let's read some of the comments from previous videos so let me just hop over back go back to the uh, VR Essentials community channel um, and by the way guys there is a playlist uh, which is called HP Reverb G2 Accessories, HP Reverb G2 Bite Size Beginner's Guide, HP Reverb G2 Tips and Tricks, HP Reverb G2 VR App Reviews and Graphic Settings. So do go and check out all these videos about the HP Reverb G2. Alright so let's go to the video that we uploaded. If you follow um, not too long ago which was all about unleashing a torrent of new paintings uh, by Valve. Uh, actually, let, let's go to another video uh, which talks more about the HP Reverb G2. Hey guys, how's it going? So all right, uh, let's go to this one here, which was all about the patch that was uploaded for the Windows Mixed Reality. Uh, Ryan Malin, Malin or Malin, thanks for your comments. 2070S plus 1070K and Rift 2S. Uh, or Q2 for other games. I get about 35, 45 FPS. Okay, thanks for your comment. Andy Skywalker, I've had nothing but problems with the update. 
sorry to hear that mate i hope that by now because this was a week ago uh i hope that by now everything's okay uh brett camera traveler thank you very much for your comment i believe windows mixed reality headsets also get a huge 1.3 frame rate bump with the microsoft's new patch uh, or asw uh, martin vr schmuck uh incredible name uh, i fly with a vr with a hp reverb g2 powered by ryzen 5800x and rtx 2080 ti and 32 gigabyte 3600 ram on a x57 motherboard i have much higher fps within vr but under about 55 fps i get constant micro status when moving the head sorry to hear about that hope things are better by now uh, falcon lx 911 thanks for your comment also as a reverb g2 guru i'm asking for your help okay i will get i've already got back to you so thanks for your comment uh, andrew gabrielson andre Gabrielson, sorry about that. Uh, the main problem for the moment is that main and RDR threads um, are keeping my FPS back. I have a lot more to go, so can't use the whole power of PC. Don't understand what I can do about the thread um, that makes it makes the update bad. Well, I hope that by now, of course, Andre, everything's good. Thank you very much for your comment. Uh, let's also uh, welcome. Let's also welcome some new um new subscribers to the community and say hi to them because you know we have to uh let's go to see all recent subscribers by date i'd like to welcome scorpion 2 or scorpion 2 uh dream eater art paul sheeta sheeta or shether adam campbell uh swiss moose uh cult of otaku uh jadem omar mustafa i would and Akpan Jennings. Guys, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. You guys are super awesome. I really, really appreciate it. Guys, we're nearly at 10,000 subscribers. So do make sure that you hit the share button. Share this video on Facebook, on Twitter, on Reddit, everywhere that you possibly can so we get more people to the community and also leave comments below so people potentially could answer you. Guys, until next time, I will see you in the comments. Let's talk in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you in another video. Guys, thanks for watching today's video. Ciao. See you later. Bye.